Good morning, my 50 fit and over. My name is Charity Simmons. I'm a TSP fitness instructor and a 200 hour yoga instructor from Cold Lake Air Base. And today we're gonna give you about a 10 minute class here of doing some weights. Yeah, I got my handy water bottles here. If you have weights or you wanna use soup cans, whatever you need, grab them. In response to COVID-19, TSP is offering virtual fitness to Canadian Armed Force members by social media platforms and virtual fitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Force personnel become accessible to all. Participants who are not Canadian Armed Force members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and physical fitness levels are unknown and it is entirely up to the individual to assess their, their ability to participate in this class. Since it is preferable to consult your physician before beginning an exercise program, we invite all participants who are not Canadian Armed Force members to consult the Get Active Questionnaire of Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and Reference Documents. If you experience any pain or difficulty during this exercise presented in this video, it is recommended that you stop and consult a healthcare provider. If CAF members sustain an injury during this video, please remember to fill out CF98. And I see Malachi has joined us today. All right, so we're just gonna kind of step from side to side, get those legs moving, just get a little warm, get a little heat going in our body. Arms out straight, feet them out, and just start with some arm circles. If you wanna do nice big arm circles, feel free. If you wanna make them a little smaller, that works too. You can do this exercise seated as well and just do your arms. Remember to always breathe and go as fast or as slow as you can. You can always slow it down, listen to your body. If you wanna get some tunes going on here, feel free to play something, whatever you're into. Some rap, some pop, I don't know. Maybe some Johnny Cash, whatever you feel the need to do weights to. We're gonna keep moving those legs, but switch direction on those arm circles. And again, if you don't really like arm circles, shoulder rolls kind of work too. Basically, like I said, we're just trying to get that heat going in our body. Warm up our core, warm up all those limbs. Good, we're gonna keep moving those legs from side to side and you're gonna start pumping those arms to the ceiling. If you have stairs in your house, you wanna run the stairs a couple times to kind of get heated up. If you have a good pair of runners, even though you're indoors, I mean, we're just doing weights today, but we definitely don't wanna drop anything on those feet. Good idea to throw them on. And pump those arms out to the front. Also, hydration is so important before, during, and after your exercise. Deep breathing. And again, you can always slow this down if you need to. And out to the side. Good, nicely done. Shake it out a little bit. We're gonna kind of play with that neck a little bit from side to side. You can kind of keep stepping from side to side if you'd like, it's up to you. But include that neck into the game. Slow it down if you need to. And even if you wanna keep your feet in one spot and just kind of tap it out. Keep moving that neck. Keep lengthening the spine. So when we're lifting weights, big things we want to see is a nice, strong, neutral spine. We don't want to round up that back. We want to keep breathing. We want to do slow and controlled movements. All right, shake it out a bit. Okay, I've got my water bottles here going on, and I'm going to start with bent over rows. You can have your feet wider, closer together. That's up to you. I like them wider, but either way is correct. But again, what we're looking for is that nice straight back. So as soon as you drop your head, the back kind of rounds. So back in line, nice and straight, push that bum out. 
You can do overhand or underhand, it's up to you, but keep those elbows close to the side of the body. And when you come back, squeeze between the shoulder blades. You're gonna go for 21 reps here. One, two, three, four. Nice straight back, breathe it out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Don't lock out the elbows when you come out. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Don't drop your head. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Same idea with bicep curls. Feet together apart. 1, 2, 3. You can also do them together if you want. 4, Five or alternate. Six, seven, back is nice and straight. Eight, eyes forward, chin up your chest. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Again, you can do the seated. 15, 16, 17. You can go a little slower if you need to. 18, 19, 20, and 21. Back to bent over rows. One, two, three, neck in line. Four, breathe it out. Five, six, squeeze between the shoulder blades. Seven, eight, nine, we're only doing 18 reps here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, nice, same, same with bicep curls, alternating or at the same time, one, two, chin off your chest, three, four, don't lock out your elbows when you come down, five, six, seven, keep the wrist in line with the rest of the arm, eight, nine, ten, keep your neck in line, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, good, back to bent over rows, 12 reps, or 15 reps, 1, 2, 3, 4, soften those knees, 5, 6, lengthen the spine, 7, 8, 9, again you can go slower, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Good. If you need to shake it out in between, go ahead. And bicep curls. One, two, three. Eyes forward. Four, five, six. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, twelve. One. Two, lengthen that spine. Three, four, squeeze between the shoulder blades. Five, six, seven, eight, shoulders down and back. Nine, 10, 11, 12, bicep curls. One, two, make sure you're not swinging. Keep that back strong. Three, four, five, wrists in line. Six, seven, chin off your chest. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one more, nine, one, two, three, go at your own pace, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good, bicep, one, two, three, four, five, don't lock out the knees, six, seven, eight, Nine, nicely done, you guys. If you need to put the weights down, nice straight back, put them down. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Good job, you guys. Air high fives. All right, we're gonna go on to push-ups and some triceps. So, you might need one or two weights. It's your call for those triceps. For push-ups, you may need something under your knees if you need to go to your knees, okay? So I've got my little handy pad here. If you want a rolled up towel or anything, you can always start from the toes if you like. 
If you are from the toes, nice straight back, neck in line, go down as a unit, come up as a unit. If you need to go to the knees, feel free, bum in line, hands about shoulder width apart, pull those back toes under, you go down as a unit, you come up as a unit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, keep breathing, ten, eleven, 12, 13, don't drop your head, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, good, bum comes up, and grab those water bottles, your hand weights, keep your elbows close to the side of the body, everything's in line, drop your arms, one, two, elbows are close, Three, four, soft knees, five, six, keep the wrist in line with the rest of the arms, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, chin off your chest, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, good. If you have something higher to put those weights on, you can. If you're not bending down to get them. But if you are bending down to put them down, nice straight back, putting them down and up. We're back to those push-ups. We're only doing 18 reps this time. Again, you can start from those toes. You can have your feet wider. As long as you're going down as a unit, up as a unit. You can always go to those knees. And I want to see perfect form. One, two, breathe it out. Three, four. Five, six, neck in line, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, nice. Push that bum up, stand it tall. Grab those weights, right straight back, grabbing them. Elbows in nice and close to the side of your body, side of your head, chin off your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, keep breathing, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, chin off your chest, elbows close, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, nice. Again, you can put them on the floor or something higher. From your knees to your toes push-ups, if you're getting tired, you can also go to the wall. So, at the wall. We've got here 15 reps. One, two, three, four, five. Keep your neck in line. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, nice. And triceps, if two are getting too much, you can just do one, elbows close. One, two, three, chin off your chest. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You guys are doing good. If we're going too fast, you can always slow it down. All right, we are going for uh, 12 reps. Okay, so again, from your knees, your toes, or the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Woo, you guys are doing good. All right, one or two weights. Elbows close, chin off your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, and 12. One more set, nine. All right, again, toes, knees, or wall. Your call wherever you're at. But I want you to go down as a unit, come up as a unit. One, two, you can widen those feet if you need to. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Good, watch your back getting up. Grab that hand weight, elbows close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Oh, whoo, good job, you guys. We are done with those hand weights. All right, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Whew, take a breather. All right, last go here. You can use that soft block if you need to. And we're going to do just a little bit of donkey kick and plank. So I am going to grab that soft block again under my knee. Hands about shoulder width apart. Hips are square, back in line. We're only going to do 10 here of each. So keep your hips square. Push through the heel. One, two, three. Four, keep breathing, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Other side, again, hips are square, push through the heel, neck in line. Don't drop your head around your back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. All right, we're going to go into plank position here. You can do it from your knees or from your toes. And we're only going to count for 10 seconds. Lengthen your spine, neck in line. You can do it from your forearms or your hands. It's up to you. Kind of push through the hands. Round the upper back just slightly. Really push through it. Engage your core, engage your muscles. Not stacking. Neck in line, don't drop. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. When you come down, don't hurt that lower back. All right, one more time. Donkey kick, hips are square, neck in line, and drive through the heel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Other side. Hips are square. Neck in line. Engage your core. Drive through the heel. One, two, three, four, five. Go at your own pace. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Last time for plank. Again, you can do it from the knees, your forearms, your hands. One, two, three. Keep that lower back strong. Four, five, six. Keep breathing. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nicely done, you guys. Air high five. All right. Whew, we're going to take it down. So big toes together, knees can be apart or together. And drop your head into resting child. Just find a couple breaths here. Bring it down. Stretch that back out from plank. And breathe. Good. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Making your way up or into a seated position is fine. Okay. Going to put a couple of shoulder rolls. Bring that heart rate down a bit. Quite a bit slower than we were at the beginning of class. Now you're going to open that chest up. You can walk around the room, around your kitchen table. You can still hear me. Feel free. Or if you just kind of want to tap from side to side, really try to bring that heart rate down. Kind of open up our chest. You can have your hands together like me. Or just chest and shoulders open like this. So we're trying not to round up again. Open up. Breathe and open. Lengthen that spine. Just bring
bring that heart rate down. Good job, guys. Give yourself a nice big bear hug. A little pat on the back. Good job. Just remember the direction you were giving yourself that bear hug. Because you're going to open up again. And then hug it over the opposite direction. And again. Good job, you guys. Give yourself a little pat on the back. Always listen to your body. And make sure you hydrate. All right, open that chest one more time again, however you want to open your chest. You can have those hands together or apart, but I want the chest and the shoulders open, chin off your chest. Deep breathing, guys, you did really well. Good. If it feels okay, Come and have a seat with me. You're going to put your feet together, soles of the feet together. Sit up as tall as you can. If you're having trouble sitting up tall, take your hands, fingertip them behind your back. Just lengthening the spine. And we're going to do that neck again. Just kind of looking from side to side. Stretch it out. Keep lengthening. Keep breathing. If your heels are too, if this is uncomfortable, you can always bring those feet out a little ways away from that growing if you need to. Just kind of drop your chin. Just kind of let your head shake from side to side. Let gravity kind of take hold. So you're still sitting up nice and tall. Now give me a couple of yes bobs with your neck. This did really, really well. Keep breathing. Keep sitting up tall. Keep lengthening that spine. Good. Whatever feels good. Just kind of play with that neck. All right. Shake it out a bit. All right. We're going to tuck one foot in a little bit closer to your side of your body. So I'm starting with my right leg. Left leg crosses over top. If you're not in this tight, that's okay. Again, sitting tall, opposite hand of that high leg, so that would be my right hand on the left knee. You can either have the hand on the knee or kind of the crook of your elbow, the inside of your elbow. My left hand is on the earth, helping me sit up tall, finger tented behind my back. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Keep breathing, guys. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. You guys are doing really well. We're almost there. Almost time for that water. But again, feel free to take sips throughout class. Hydration again, so important. All right, facing me again. And taking those legs apart. Sit back, just let the legs kind of bounce a little bit. Loosen them up. All right, we're going to do the opposite sides now. So as my left leg comes in. Right leg goes over top, left arm on right knee, right hand behind my back, finger tensing it. Sitting as tall as I can, inhale, sit tall, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale. Keep deepening into that twist if you can. Good. Nice and slowly bring it back to me. Untwist. And again, sit tall, lengthen, and let those knees bounce a little bit. If you need to still keep doing some stretching or bring that heart rate down a little more, bit more, feel free. Have a good one, guys. You did great. Air high fives. See you next time.